Hi, P's and G's. Just wanted to update you as we enter week nine of the lockdown from the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, Libby reminded us on Sunday that unprecedented situations require unprecedented prayer. I don't know about you, but sometimes I felt pretty helpless knowing what to pray and how to pray when faced with a coronavirus pandemic. In the first three or four weeks, when there was a crisis, it was much easier. But as the weeks and the days seem to go into the same dull routine, it's become harder to pray, if I'm honest. At the same time, nearly half the population in the UK have admitted to feeling anxiety uh, during the, the, the coronavirus pandemic. But two, something else is happening, as Paul reminded us on Sunday. One in four people have checked out an online church service during the lockdown. And one in three people have admitted starting to pray since the lockdown began. Maybe some of you uh, joined our Experiencing Prayer course because you wanted to deepen your relationship with God. Something is happening. Something is stirring. And perhaps the most important thing that we can do as a church, alongside practical offers of care and concern and, and love and kindness and an online alpha course or an online church service, perhaps the most important thing that we can do is to pray. The popularity of the blessing video with over two and a half million views now on YouTube shows that it's so powerful when we gather together to pray for God's blessing. And prayer is easier when we do it together. That's why the Lord's Prayer is corporate. It's our Father, not my Father. On Thursday, this year's Thy Kingdom Come prayer initiative begins. It's Ascension Day this Thursday. And the initiative lasts for 10 days until Pentecost Sunday on May the 31st. And I want to tell you about several ways that you can be involved. Firstly, there's a brilliant Thy Kingdom Come app which you can download. It's full of resources, morning prayer, evening prayer, night prayer. There's uh, daily videos, there's Bible readings, there's a podcast from Tom Wright. It's a really, really helpful selection, as well as praying for five people, perhaps, who as yet don't know Jesus. Then if you go to the website, thykingdomcome.global, again, there are loads of resources for you. There's a, a prayer journal that you can download for free with beautiful drawings by Charlie Mackesy, the author of The Horse and the Boy. There's a brilliant Thy Kingdom Come digital adventure prayer map and app that uses virtual reality to play games with children, to enable you to pray together, perhaps as a household or a family, to engage different ages on different topics each day. And uh, you can sign up for that. And then we'd love you to join us to pray each day between the 21st and the 31st of May. Most of them will be at eight o'clock. The first is on a Thursday and therefore will start at 8.15 this Thursday. The details of how you can uh, access the Zoom page were in the events and news email last Friday, or you can email the church office at peasandgs.org.uk to find out how you can access uh, the Zoom prayer meeting. Let's pray for hope, love, peace, even faith to grow and increase in Scotland as we pray thy kingdom come alongside thousands, indeed millions of Christians around the world. We look forward to hearing the stories of how God has answered prayer that we have prayed over these next 10 days, beginning this Thursday at 8.15 and after that at 8 o'clock each night, leading up to Pentecost Sunday on the 31st. Do join us. It'd be great to see you.